Muldoon and ladies. If I was you, I'd get in off the streets. It's apt to be a mic dangerous. Be Bannerman Brown. Well, there's some in this town have a sense of duty. If others that ought to ain't... Now, where are they? They're... Uh, Stand aside, B. Bannerman Brown. I, I, Will you get out of the way? Come, ladies. Great jumping Jehoshaphat. Repent, sinner. The day of retribution is at hand. Yes, ma. I reckon it is. Us poor, frail females have come to throw ourselves on your mercy. You come to do what, ma'am? We want you should spare us our men. Amen. Amen. Well, there ain't enough of them to go around as it is. Amen. Amen. Oh, don't you worry none, ma'am. We, we'll spare you men if, if they were sparing. Beats the heck out of me. Hey. Somebody's shooting at somebody. I think it's us. find out. Oh, Hoss. I paid two dollars for this. Show me worth much now. Man, wasn't that good shooting? Well, look, next time we you use your neck cloth, please. I just hope there's gonna be a next time. Hey, you in there? Huh? We know who you are and what you're here for. You can die now or later. If you want a chance to make your peace, throw out your gun. Hey, they got us mixed up with somebody else. I sure hope so. Well, why else would they be shooting at total innocent strangers if they didn't have us mixed up with somebody? I don't know. This is Texas, though, huh? Yeah. Well, reckon we better go ahead and do what he says. Throw our guns out and then go out and see what it's all about. Come on. All right. Let's try it again. What are your names? And what are you doing here? I done told you and told you that. Our names is Cartwrights and we're down here to, we're down here to buy cattle. Ants, go on, boy. Oh. I told you not to lie to me. We ain't lying. Of course you ain't. You just come down here to buy cows, Texas cows. Now, who in his right mind is going to believe Anybody come down here to buy Texas Longhorns, I ask you. I told you. We're going to take them back up to our, our ranch in Nevada and, and cross them with our own herd so we'll have a, a hardier breed. And you two are going to drive them cows clean across West Texas, right on up through a hunk of New Mexico, all the way to the Nevada Territory, just the two of you? Yeah, that's what we said. It's a fine lie, gents. A fine lie. It's the kind of noble, inspired lion that does credit to the folks that raised you. But it don't wash out here. Now, I'll tell you who you are. You're them two low-down, gun-slinging, murdering, hydrophobic skunks of Slade boys that was hired by old man McFadden to wipe out us Hadfields because he couldn't do it himself. And now, now, look, we never, we never heard of the McFaddens, and we never heard of the, the Hatfields. And that's the truth. Ain't they the living wonders, though? 
chance. Take them out and do what has to be done. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, what in time is going on here anyway? What, what are you fixing to do to these fellas? Kill them? They're the Slade boys. You, you can't do that. You ain't sure they're the Slades. Ain't sure. Ain't you? You see them, don't you? Sure, I see them, but I never see the Slades in my life, and neither did you. He's uh, right there, Pa. Yeah, Twirly, Twirly Boggs, he says he knows them. He says he knows them a long time back in Austin. Oh, Twirly? Yeah. Fine. Fetch him in here. Let him identify him, and then we'll kill him if it'll make you any happier. Oh, well, you see, Twirly ain't exactly around right at this moment. Oh. <laughs> Ants, take yeah. him out. Come on. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It won't do no harm to wait till morning, will it? Where are we gonna keep him until morning? Paul, why don't we just stick him in Brown's jail and let him take responsibility for him? You leave me in my jail out of this. Ants, take him out. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. All right. Just get somebody to help me get him over to jail, that's all. Hey, Bannerman Brown. On your way, on your way. You make sure they're there come morning. Or I might just take it into my head to vacate your office. I'm getting sick of you. Well, Joe, I got a funny feeling the law in this town is sure easily influenced. Yeah, well, he needs a Navy cope. Oh, uh, you fellas comfortable and happy? I mean, uh, can it get you anything? A bottle of whiskey or a couple of steaks or something? When are you going to let us out of here? Well, tomorrow morning. One way or another. What do you mean, one way or another? Well, if I can find Twirly Boggs and he says you ain't the Slade boys, I'll, <laughs> I'll turn you loose. <laughs> yeah, but what's going to happen if you can't find Twirly Boggs? You get hung. <laughs> Just about got it figured out. Yeah, what? This whole dang town is touched. Oh, come on. Who ever heard of a whole town being touched? Feller told me one time they got a weed down here and they call it a loco weed. When the horses and cows eat it, they get wilder and all get out. Well, so people don't eat weeds. Yeah, but they eat beef, don't they? One of them critters gets all filled up on that there loco weed, it kind of solves the meat down, wouldn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. It sure does. Well, Joe, you don't reckon they're really going to hang us, do you? I don't know. If they're joking us, they're sure pushing it pretty far. Hang on. Don't blob. Blab. Oh, don't blab. Rescue is at hand. Signed, Black Alonzo, the Red-Handed Avenger. Joe, even the kids have been affected by that loco beef in this town. Sheriff Brown. Oh, good evening, Miss Lorna Doon. Good evening, ladies. I have fetched my tribute. Yes, my, uh, I guess as much. Me and the ladies of the town have come to comfort them poor sinners in their final hour. Well, the good book says we should forgive our enemies. We are told to bring solace to the afflicted, even though they are a couple of low-down murdering skunks. Yes, my here, uh, here's the keys. Uh, you go in and uh, console them low-down murdering uh, uh, them <laughs> and poor lost sheep. Me, I got work to do. Good night, ladies. 